All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. So we're sitting our home away from home. We got a bunch of emails and I saw all the videos. As of yesterday, October 6th, QLLC received a letter from the guys over there at the ATF indicating to Q that their beautiful little thing called the Honey Badger is not an AR-15 pistol, but has been determined by them or have the opinion that it is not an AR-15 pistol, but it is an SBR. And what does that mean? Well, it basically means this. All the individuals who purchased the Honey Badger now have to take a couple steps in an effort not to become felons overnight. Now, I've had a bunch of people tell me in that other video I did the other day that uh, the president can't make law or he can't do this and he can't take your guns. But what he can do is he can make them illegal for you to own. And it doesn't even have to take, it doesn't even take the president. It just has to take somebody with a stick up their ass from the ATF to make a determination that what you own should be illegal or you have to pay a tax stamp. And as far as I'm concerned, tax taxation is theft. All right, so what are we talking about here? So uh, QLLC, they made this AR-15 pistol. It's about this long, has a seven and a half inch barrel on it, and it comes with an SB tactical brace on it. Not a stock, but a brace, as determined by the ATF that that is a brace and is an accessory. We talked about this a lot. We talked about minimal lengths, length like of pull, all the cool things that you have to take into consideration when you have an AR-15 pistol. Now, wouldn't it be cool if they just got rid of the NFA and we could go have fun and not wear hearing protection, run around with our little SBRs? I think that'd be absolutely awesome. But in this letter, what they said was, uh, surprise, surprise, we've determined that this uh, Honey Badger is not a pistol, but is considered an SBR because the intent is that it should be shouldered or could be shouldered. Hell, could it be shot? I don't know. I mean, you know, here's the whole thing. A gun's a gun. Who cares how long the barrel is or if it's got a stock on it or a brace on it? A firearm's a firearm. They make like this thing is more dangerous than the other. So anyway, back to the whole thing. So the poor guys over there at QLLC had to send out a letter to their people who they sold this thing to them and say, you gotta do two things in order to not become a felon. Now, I'm not sure if there's a start date to this whole thing or there was a start date, but it impacts a bunch of people. We're going to talk about that here in a few seconds. Now, I've got a couple good friends of mine and particularly one friend who told me this is coming out very soon. Uh, and this was a year ago. So anyway, uh, let's talk about this. In an effort to, uh, <laughs> until a resolution is reached with the ATF, you got two choices. Remove the barrel upper receiver from the lower receiver and dedicate it as a replacement for another AR style pistol or a registered short barrel rifle. In other words, you've got this little up, upper receiver. You have to take it off of the lower receiver and put it on another pistol lower. Then you gotta take that receiver, okay? Here's the kicker. If you do not possess another AR style pistol or registered short barrel rifle, remove the barreled upper receiver from the lower receiver, temporarily transfer it out of your possession by, for example, transferring it to a Dominion or and control of another individual. I had to read that out loud. So basically, you legally purchase this firearm and all of a sudden the ATF changes his mind overnight. And this is where I'm saying a president doesn't have to sign anything. The ATF can overnight make a decision saying uh, anything with can except a 30 round magazine uh, is now a, uh, a full auto or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they all they got to do is make the change. All right. Who does this affect? This affects you. It affects the industry. It affects the guys over at SB Tactical uh, and mostly uh, you and I. And I, I, when I'm saying this is because if, say for instance, you've purchased anything from say Palmetto State Armory as an AR-15 pistol, anything less than 16 inches, okay? They came with an SBA-3 brace. What is to say that the ATF doesn't send Palmetto State Armory a letter next week saying that, hey, you know, anything that you've sold with the SBA-3 brace is considered now a short-barreled rifle. And at that point, now you have millions of people out there who, if they don't take proper measures, they've got a worthless lower that they 
this is a tracked item. This has a serial number on it and it's listed on the 4473 as a pistol. Next thing you know, uh, you know, Mr. ATF is knocking on the door going, what'd you do with that lower? Why is it not registered? And you got to pay a tax stamp. So this is the whole thing. Now, Legally Armed America, I think that's his name, he was made up a point. Everybody's going to say, well, this is President Trump's ATF. And he was saying that this is not necessarily Trump's ATF, but it's a lot more Obama Biden's ATF. And it's a, kind of a coincidence that all of a sudden this happens 30 days prior to an election. And I'm not going to get into the old conspiracy things. But I would tell you this right now. Uh, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts that an organization like the ATF can up and change their mind on anything they want based on an opinion and no clarifications in writing. The SBA 3 brace has been around for years. There are millions of them out there. I myself have several of them, or I did until I sold them all in the Home Depot pop parking lot this morning because I don't know what happened to them. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Guys, this is pretty sick. I'm going to put the Gun Owners of America or Gun Owners Association of America, GOA, down below. They're the, the, uh, company, or they're the people that I support in this whole thing. But it appears the NRA and every YouTube channel is getting back there. Contact your congressmen, your senators, and let them know that we, the people, to the tune of over 3.5 million who have these little braces, are not going to put up with this shit. The ATF need to figure it out. They kind of remind me of the guys over there at YouTube. You know, when they send you a, a little memo saying, we have determined, you know, out of the blue. There's no rhyme or reason. Because they don't have to give you one. Let's go to Boy 32. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who protect us and serve us every day and protect our Constitution and our constitutional rights. And don't do stupid bullshit like this. Y'all be good. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not it free. And we're getting ready to find that out real quick. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.